Have you ever wondered how you could squeeze out those few extra FPS that you've been looking for? Maybe you're trying to get five to 10 more FPS to hit your monitor's refresh rate. In this video, we're gonna cover five tips that you can use right now to squeeze out just a few more FPS from your computer. Let's get right into it. In the past, we've been pretty heavily focused on Valorant content. Going forward, while we will still be producing that Valorant content, we will start producing more videos like this and some other games as well. So if you want to see more of these videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Tip number one, we're going to be talking about how to turn off the Xbox game bar. Now, as you might think, if you shut off something that's constantly logging and recording your gameplay, you'll probably get a few more FPS and you're right. So what we're going to do is hit Windows key plus I or you can go ahead and hit the Windows Start menu and then hit the little cogwheel in the bottom left. From here, you will select Gaming, and then if it isn't already selected by default, select Game Bar and make sure this is toggled to Off. As a bonus setting, you can go down to Game Mode on the left and toggle that on. That'll help give you a few more FPS because it'll focus your computer on gaming and full screen applications. The next thing we're going to do is download and install Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Now, this is developed by the same guy that made the Display Driver utility, if you're familiar with that one. But this utility, what it will do is monitor your RAM, and when you only have a gigabyte of RAM left, it'll clear your standby list to create a little bit more extra room for whatever game or application you're running. If you want a more detailed description, you can look that up on the website that you can download it from or from many of the forum posts online about it. So go ahead and Google this, or you can head to the URL in the description down below that I've linked. And you'll want to scroll down. Don't click any of these ads. There's some ads download buttons here. Click the click here for download and support link. And then once you get to that next page, you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the official download here button. This will start the download. What you're going to want to do is extract this to a folder on your computer. And once you have it extracted and you open that folder up, you're going to want to run the top application intelligent standby list cleaner. When you run this, it'll open this menu up here that you see on my screen right now. You don't want to change any of the settings by default. Just go ahead and hit the start button and then you can go ahead and minimize this application and it'll be constantly running in the background. If you don't want to have to start this every time you start up your computer, you can select one of the options on the bottom left to auto start it when you log in. For tip number three, we're going to change the prefer maximum performance setting in NVIDIA. Now this is an NVIDIA specific setting, although there is something similar for AMD graphics cards, I just don't have one so I can't show you. What you're going to want to do is go to your NVIDIA control panel. From here, you're going to want to select adjust image settings with preview. Make sure that you have used the advanced 3D image settings selected. If you don't have that option, you can select use my performance emphasizing and make sure that scroll bar goes all the way over to the left. From here, once you've selected that option, click the Manage 3D Settings button. And the only thing we're going to want to change here right now is we're going to want to scroll down and change the Power Management Mode. Make it say Prefer Maximum Performance. There are other options that you could change here to squeeze out a few extra FPS if you needed to, but we're not worrying about those right now. Once you've done this, go ahead and hit Apply. As a bonus tip, you can always make sure that you have your latest graphics drivers installed because sometimes this will help get a few extra FPS as well. Next, what we're going to do is make sure that Windows is in high performance mode. Press the Windows plus R key on your keyboard to bring up the run prompt. Once you have the run prompt open, type powercfg.cpl and hit enter. This will bring up this window that you see on my screen right now. What you're going to want to do is make sure that high performance is selected. This will tell your computer to prefer high performance. Obviously, you don't want to have something like power saver or balance turned on unless you are specifically using those settings when you're not gaming. And then the fifth and final tip, we're going to go ahead and right click the exe of whatever game you might be playing or wanting to change the settings of. For me, it's going to be Valorant. So navigate to your games folder, right click the exe of the game, click properties, and then click the compatibility tab. You're going to want to disable full screen optimizations and then click the change high DPI settings button. Once the second window has popped up, you're going to want to click 
override high DPI scaling behavior and then click OK and then click apply. And if you do all of these things, you should get at least five to 10 more FPS out of your computer. Hopefully, if you didn't already have these things done, I hope you guys find this video useful and helpful. And if you do click the thumbs up button for me, let me know in the comments down below, what game are you playing right now? And what other types of tips similar to this one would you like to see in the future? This is Hootie with Level Up Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.